Prince Harry and Meghan Markle sent shockwaves through the UK when they sent Buckingham Palace a breakup text. But now, the Queen is saying, slow your roll, bitches. Now to that bombshell mm -hmm. announcement. The whole world is talking about it. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle revealing that they intend to step back as so-called senior members of the royal family. A rift in the royal family not seen for a generation. Prince Harry, the most popular royal after the Queen and his American wife, Meghan, issuing what amounts to a declaration of independence. Their bombshell announcement taking other royals by surprise. There was no advance warning for the Queen, Prince Charles or Prince William. Buckingham Palace issuing a terse response. Discussions with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are at an early stage. We understand their desire to take a different approach but these are complicated issues. Oh, shit just got real. <laughs> yeah, apparently the queen is not happy because Harry and Meghan didn't tell her they plan to quit the family business. Yeah. And maybe they did tell her, but because she's like 100 years old, she forgot. You don't know? <laughs> yeah, maybe they're like, Grandma, we're leaving the royal family. She's like, when? They're like, next week. What's next week? We're leaving. Who's leaving? <laughs> we are. <laughs> you are what? Oh, never mind. Those suckers fall for it every time. <laughs> Now, some people are saying the Queen is upset because the royal family needs Harry and Meghan to stay popular and relevant. I think the real reason is that the Queen is mad because now she's stuck with a bunch of merchandise she can't sell. Yeah, she's like, I can't sell shirts that say Slay Queen if there's no black family. I'll get canceled on Twitter. You know who I feel bad for in all of this, though? Meghan and Harry's son, Archie. Yeah, because you realize eventually he's gonna grow up and be like, so let me get this straight. We used to be in the royal family? <laughs> like, I could have been a king, and now I'm working at Burger King? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> All right, moving on from the most entitled family in England to the most entitled family in the US. President Trump has spent nearly a third of his days in office visiting one of his own vacation properties. And every time Trump and his family travels, it costs the taxpayers money. And if you'd like to know how much money, well, there's good news and bad news. The Washington Post reports the Trump administration wants to delay until after the election a Democratic proposal. It requires the Secret Service to disclose just how much it spends on protecting the president and his family when they travel. The Secret Service is part of the Treasury Department. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin has reportedly agreed to the idea, but wants to start it after the presidential election. Oh, yes, that's right. Steve Mnuchin, Treasury Secretary and corporate Kylo Ren, says he will disclose how much money the Secret Service spends on Trump, but only after the election. Yeah, and that can't be a good sign. Why after the election, huh? That's like asking a hookup if they've been tested, and they say, yeah, 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 I was, and I'll tell you the results after we smash. <laughs> now, protecting a president has always cost money, let's be fair. But Trump is a special case, because this is the first time where the Secret Service also has to protect the president from himself. Yeah, they're like, watch out, Mr. President, the stove is hot. Sir, what did I just say? Stop that. <laughs> Sir, stop. Oh, you wanna touch it? Touch it, touch it, touch it. You wanna touch it? He's like, no, I learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm just him now. Are you gonna touch it? No, no, I'm not touching it. <laughs> now, we already know that since he became president, Trump's travel has, has cost taxpayers about $100 million. What I wanna know is a breakdown. I wanna see a breakdown of what they spend on each member of the Trump family. Yeah, because I bet they spend, like, a fortune to protect Ivanka, but then they just buy Eric a Groupon for karate lessons. <laughs> hey, hey, figure that shit out. <laughs> All right, and finally, some news going viral online. Madame Tussauds is world famous for creating lifelike wax replicas of famous people throughout time. But they're also famous for sometimes getting it very wrong. A wax figure of a celebrity at Madame Tussauds is being roasted online. It's the figure of Nicki Minaj at the Tussauds Museum in Berlin. The image is supposed to be a rapper from her music video. But social media thinks uh, it's not even close. One tweet called it a mess and asked, does Google not exist? Okay, that is a terrible looking replica of Nicki Minaj. It's almost like the sculptor focused, focused so much on the ass that when he got to the face, he was just like, oh, I'm tired, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> But instead of asking why doesn't this wax figure look like Nicki Minaj, I feel like people should be asking the question, why are we still making wax figures? Because <laughs> in the 1700s, when Madame Tussauds started, it made sense. You didn't know what people looked like, right? Now we have cameras. 
right? No one out there is like, I want to know what Ed Sheeran looks like, but I want bees to be involved. <laughs> I mean, at the same time, I also kind of feel bad for the people who work at Madame Tussauds, because making wax figures is difficult. Like, even a candle is hard to make. One time, I tried to make a candle for my mom for her birthday, and it came out looking like Mitch McConnell. Yeah. <laughs> and here's my big issue. Here's my big issue. Why did they make Nicki Minaj's wax figure in that position? Like, like, you know what I mean? No, because everyone else's wax figure gets to stand. Beyonce stands, Elton John stands, but Nicki Minaj is ass up. Like, that's her natural position in life. She did that once. It's not like she goes to the grocery store like, yes, yes, <laughs> some milk, please, some milk. If I was Nicki Minaj, I'd be pissed off at that. It's the same way I bet Jesus would be pissed off when he comes back to Earth. He's gonna be, wait, I was crucified one time, and that's how you remember me? <laughs> one time? What about the time I walked on water? Where's the statue of that, huh? Remember the magic trick with the wine? Where's the statue of that? And also, why do I look white? What the hell is going on?